Hello and welcome to Yoga with Charlie. My name is Charlie and this is the Arm Balance series. And today we are looking at revolved flying splits. And this is quite a intricate pose with a lot of different things going on. So I have quite a dynamic warm up to prepare you so that you understand the nuances of this pose. And one thing I will say is if you are a beginner, I recommend to place down something soft like a blanket or a pillow just so that you have a crash pad because it will help you in the event that you do go toppling over just to have a softer landing. And it can also help with that fear factor as well if you know that you've got something there that's ready to support you. Now with that being said, when you're ready, find a seated position. So legs bent, feet a little bit wider than a hips width, and then clasp your hands together so you're not tempted to use them. And we'll start with some hip mobility. So just letting the knees fall to the right and then the body will twist right. And then untwist as you lift the knees up and go left, twisting left. So we'll keep that going a few times just so that you can get familiar. Pay attention to the way you twist your body and the way you're moving. How the upper body and lower body are working together. Good. And then the next time you're twisting right, lower your hands and see if you can twist a little bit deeper. So maybe you start to walk your hands behind you. Keep your chest lifted so you don't lose the integrity of the length of your spine. So we're looking to lengthen and twist at the same time. And then we'll hold this here a few breaths. So start to find a steady breath. Good. And then release, bring your hands together and we'll go to the left side. Bring your hands to the mat and then you can start walking them a little further back. Keep your chest up. And then find your breath as we pause here a moment. Good, so bring your hands together, untwist. Now cross your ankles, pick up your feet. <laughs> then bring your feet in towards your hips, plant your hands, and then you can either jump or step back to plank. So stack your shoulders over your wrists and then start to rock forwards and backwards in your plank. So maintaining that plank position as you move forwards and back. And then we'll mix it up and go side to side. Try to keep your body super still as you rock side to side. And then finally, let's go full circles a few times clockwise. And then anti-clockwise. Good. And finally, lift your hips, come back into downward facing dog. Pedal out your legs, take a few moments to settle in. And then lifting your right leg high, inhale. With your exhale, step the foot in between your hands, come up into high lunge. Find your balance here to begin. Bring your hands into prayer and twist to the right, and then bring your left elbow to the outside of right knee. Don't worry if you're a little bit wobbly, I am too. Hold it here, keep turning your chest to the right. Inhale. And with your exhale, untwist, come back through your center, arms reach up. Shift your weight into your front foot, come through into warrior three. You can bring your hands into prayer, focus your gaze down on the mat. Hold for an inhale. As you exhale, keep your back leg lifted, but lower your left hand to the mat. Reach your right arm up to the ceiling and turn your chest to the right for a revolved half moon. Focus your gaze on one spot. Hold for an inhale. 
As you exhale, lower your back foot to the mat. Then turn both feet to the right side of your mat and start to lower the left hip down. Reach your right arm back and we'll hold it here. So keep that hip hovering off the mat. Hold for an inhale. As you exhale, lift the left hip up, step your right foot back into side plank. Good. Inhale here. Exhale, right hand comes down, move into plank. And then come all the way back into downward facing dog. Nice. So second side, lift your left leg up, inhale. Exhale, step forwards, come into high lunge. Take a moment to get steady, find your breath. Hands come to prayer, twist to the left, bring your right elbow to outside of left knee. Don't worry if you're wobbly, like I say, it doesn't need to be perfect. Hold for an inhale. At the end of your exhale, untwist, arms come up. Lean your weight forwards as you pick up your back leg, coming to warrior three. Look down to focus your gaze. Hold for an inhale. And an exhale. Keep your back leg lifted, lower the right hand to the mat. Reach your left arm up and turn your chest to the left for a rolled half moon. Hold it here, inhale. On your exhale, lower your back foot down, turn your feet to the left side of your mat and lower the right side hip down. Hover your hip off the mat, keep pushing the floor away. Hold for an inhale. At the end of your exhale, pick up the right hip, step back into side plank. Hold for a breath in. And exhale, come back to plank. And move all the way back to downward facing dog. Nice. So looking in between your hands, step the right foot forward, lower your back knee down, arms up in low lunge. Try to look for lengthening your spine here. So really lifting your rib cage away from your lower back. And as you find that length, bring hands into prayer, twist to the right. Bring your left elbow to the outside of your right knee. And we're gonna work a little deeper progressively. So your first few breaths here, you don't have to be in a crazy deep twist. With each exhale, I want you to focus on turning your chest gradually to the right. As you bring your left shoulder forwards over that right knee. So left shoulder is moving forwards, right shoulder is rolling back. And if you'd like to go one further, you could extend both arms. So maybe the left hand comes down to the mat or to a block. Keep finding those micro movements. Hold for another breath in. Exhale it out. Good. Bring your hands back to prayer and slowly untwist. Nice, step it all the way back to downward facing dog. And we'll move through that on the other side. So left foot steps forwards, come into your low lunge, reach your arms up. Prioritize creating length first, so get really tall. Bring your hands into prayer, twist to your left and bring your right elbow to the outside of your left knee. When you first enter this pose, it may feel a little awkward and that's okay. Give yourself a couple breaths here. Notice how the body gradually opens up. It isn't instantaneous, so give yourself time. And then finding those micro movements. So this time left shoulder rolls back, right shoulder rolls forwards. Chest is turning to the left. And if you'd like to open out the arms, go ahead and do so. Bring your right hand down to the mat or to a block. Keep twisting to the left. Hold for an inhale. And an exhale. Bring your hands back to prayer. Gradually untwist. 
and step it back, downward facing dog. Good. Now bend in your left knee, pick up the foot and turn to side plank on your left. And bring your right hand to your left knee and start to guide that knee across your body. So the knee points up and you come into this deep side plank twist. Press the floor away, hold for an inhale. Then staying in your twist as you exhale, sit the hips down. Wrap your right arm around your left leg and keep twisting to your left. So hopefully that felt like a natural transition. It's okay if it was the first time. It might have felt a little strange. You've always got another round to get more familiar. So again, prioritizing length, lift from the crown of your head as you twist left. Deep breath in. And exhale it out. One more breath here, inhale, exhale. Now plant your hands, turn to face the front of your mat and then lift your leg or left leg all the way up into three-legged down dog. Bend your knee and open out the hip. So you're lifting that knee as high as you can, stacking the left hip on top of the right. Good, and then looking forwards, bring your left knee to the back of your left wrist. Bring the foot out to the right side of the mat and then lower down into pigeon pose. Then to begin, keep your left foot flex and instead of folding forwards, keep your chest up and walk your hands to the right side of your mat. So we're staying with this twisting action because it's a very twisty posture. So that's why there are so many twists featuring in today's class. So return to a deeper breath. Always coming back to the breath in these moments where we slow things down. Good. And then sit back and swing your right leg round, bring the foot over your left knee. And you can bring your left foot in just under your right glutes. Hug the left arm around the right leg and keep twisting to the right. Again, find that length, sit up tall and gradually twist to the right. So nothing too abrupt, too soon. Good, and from here, keep that left elbow hooked over your right knee. Then plant both hands down on the mat. Start to lean your weight into your hands as you pick up your hips, then bend your arms to create a platform. Then see if you can pick up your feet. Starting with the legs crossed, you may just stay there. If it feels okay, you can extend your legs into your revolved flying splits. Hold it here for three, two, one. Rebend your legs. Come back into the seated twist. And then you can swing your leg back round, coming through to your pigeon and step back into downward facing dog. Take a few moments here, reset with any movements that feel good. And then we'll move into that on the second side. So start by bending your right knee, lift the foot, and then come into side plank on the right. Left hand comes to the right knee, gradually lift that knee up to the ceiling, deep in the twist and hold. On your next exhale, sit the hips down, staying in the twist. Left arm wraps around your right leg. Gradually twisting to the right here. Good, then replant your hands. 
and lift the right leg back up into three-legged down dog. Inhale, open your hip, bend your knee. And as you exhale, bring your right knee to the back of right wrist. Open the foot out to the left side and come down into your pigeon pose. Keep your front foot flexed here and walk your hands to the left side. Start to twist to the left. So it might feel a little strange. Don't worry if your pigeon is a bit skew with, that's okay. few more breaths here, in through the nose, out through the nose or mouth. Good, and sit back and swing your back leg all the way round, crossing your left foot over your right knee, and then bring your right foot to the back of the left glutes. Right arm hugs round your left leg, finding that seated twist again. Go slow, move progressively, so just micro movements with each breath. Good. Then keeping that right elbow hooked on the outside of your left knee, place both hands down onto the mat and pick your hips up as you do. Now start to bend your arms like chaturanga, Lift your hips and then keep shifting your weight forwards into your hands. And keeping your legs crossed, start to lift the feet. And just stay here to get familiar. If you're feeling confident, straighten both legs. And we'll hold it here for three, two, one. Recross the legs, come back into that seated twist. Then swing your left leg all the way back into pigeon and step back to downward facing dog. Great work. Take a deep breath in and an audible sigh out. You deserve it. Then looking forward, slowly step your feet forwards, coming into forward fold. Take a hold of opposite elbows and we'll find right all swing and out side to side. Let your upper body hang heavy. Let go of your head and your neck. Awesome. Then letting go of your elbows. Inhale, lift your chest halfway. Exhale, folding forwards again. Plant your hands, step back into plank. And then lower your knees down into tabletop, bringing your knees together, feet together. Sit your hips back on your heels, bring your belly to your thighs, and then rest your forehead on the mat. And finally, relax your arms either side of your legs so the shoulders can relax down the back. And we'll be finishing up the class here. So go ahead and soften any areas of tension. Notice if you're still holding on in any way. If there is any muscular effort at all, try to let go of that.
Bringing your awareness back to your body, back to the space around you. In your own time, come up into a kneeling position. And when you're ready, open your eyes. Thank you so much for joining me for a class. I hope that you enjoyed it. Namaste.